Okay, John Marsh here, and uh, I just forgot to record this whole page worth of work, but I'll talk you through it instead. Maybe that'll be quicker. Anyway, in this video I want to cover decibel milliwatts. Uh, in the previous video I covered decibel units dBs, which were a way of taking care of a unitless ratio. In this video I want to talk about measuring power. And this could be optical power, it could be electrical power. And what we're going to do is look at the units of dBm, which are called decibel milliwatts. And I'm going to start with a value of power, P, with units of milliwatts. And I'm going to form a unitless ratio from that by taking that power and divided by one milliwatt. And uh, if, for example, I have a power of 2 milliwatts, then my unitless ratio is 2. Okay, the milliwatt in the numerator cancels with the milliwatt in the denominator, giving me a unitless ratio. And very similar to the definition of the decibel, uh, I'm going to go ahead and define the decibel milliwatt, P, in dBm units as 10 log base 10 of that power divided by 1 milliwatt. And the power that we plug into this equation to make this calculation has to be in milliwatts. Okay, So, as a couple of examples, if I have a power of 10 milliwatts, then that 10 milliwatts in dBm units, or decibel milliwatt units, is 10 log 10 of 10 divided by 1. And uh, log base 10 of 10 is 1, and 1 times 10 is 10, and therefore I have 10 dBm. So 10 milliwatts is 10 dBm. If I have a power of 100 milliwatts, you can plug into the same equation, and the log base 10 of 100 is 2, because 10 to the 2 power is 100. 10 squared is 100, and so 2 times 10 is 20, and so 100 milliwatts is 20 dBm. Uh, finally, the, uh, a third example is uh, a power of 1 milliwatt. In this case, I've got 10 log base 10 of 1. Well, 10 raised to the 0 power is 1. Therefore, I have 0 times 10, or 0 dBm. So you can see that uh, power values in milliwatts that are larger than 1 milliwatt give us positive dBm values. 1 milliwatt, our reference, gives us 0 dBm. <coughs> As an example of a power smaller than a milliwatt, I have one microwatt here. That's 10 to the minus third milliwatts, or one thousandth of a milliwatt. And if I plug into the formula, converting one microwatt into dBm units, <clears throat> I get 10 log base 10 of 10 to the minus 3, where in plugging in here, I made sure I converted my power into milliwatt units, 10 to the minus 3 milliwatts. Well, the log base 10 of 10 to the minus 3 is minus 3, and therefore I have negative 30 dBm. So you can see when I have powers less than a milliwatt, I go to negative dBm values, and when I have powers greater than a milliwatt, I have positive dBm values. Uh, plugging in the reference value of 1 milliwatt gives me exactly 0 dBm. Okay, so these calculations are fairly straightforward. Using your calculator, as I demonstrated, in the last video. And here uh, I've also introduced the dBw uh, unit, decibel watts. And dBw's are just the same thing as dBm's except my reference power is one watt rather than one milliwatt. And so the equation defining them is the same except I have a watt in the denominator and I call it a dBw. And because a milliwatt is only one thousandth of a watt, it turns out that the power in dBm is the power in dBw's plus 30 dB. Uh, and so you can uh, convert between these two types of units using this equation. You can verify this equation by plugging in uh, a milliwatt into the definitions here. Uh, and I'll stop, end this video here, and in the next video I'll tell you how loss calculations are made much easier using these decibel units.